Oh, well, that, that was great. Let's go. Oh! Oh my God, oh, run us. Ah! <laughs> run! <laughs> Today, we have a royal feast at a hawker center, battle mother nature in the jungle, and we catch up with an old friend. This is our world, our work. We had a big day of adventuring ahead, but first we wanted to see the house that Wan Rong has lived in since the day she was born. Yeah, yeah I show you my family photo. Like, oh yeah, please. So there's my sister, my father, and me. If my mom was here, she would be here beside him as well. So. Uh -huh. But she's always, you know, with yes, us. Yes, so. yes. Hey, look, look, we got a, we got some award service now awards here. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? Wall. She saved an email. For, she emailed with Bill. I think there's one more thing we have to see. Your desk, you have all these slogans. <laughs> yeah, pretty f awesome. Keep that f up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a unique concept to me to live in one house for your whole life. You oh, know what I mean? I think because in Asia, <laughs> you will stay your parents until like, if you are married. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But like, I know in like Western countries, usually like at the age of 18, you'll just move out, right? Yeah, but it yeah. wasn't even, it wasn't even that particular dynamic. It was just uh -huh. like, you know, even when I was a kid, my mom, you know, for, to get different jobs mm -hmm. or because we, you know, we had very little money to begin with, but then we could afford a little bit nicer house or a mm -hmm. little bit nicer house. We would, you know, we would move a lot. Oh. Um, even when I was a child, so. Okay. Yeah. My father is a really frugal man. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, he's like the single, like the sole breadwinner. Yeah. yeah. There's uh -huh. no more money left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna work hard. <laughs> Give him a good life. Mm -hmm. My motivation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And away we go to the small island of Pulau Ubin. But before we hop on the ferry, we're fueling up at a hawker center. If you've never heard the term before, it's a staple of life in Singapore. Just imagine pulling together a whole constellation of street food stalls all in one spot. This is, oh man, so amazing. This is my happy place. We're meeting up with our friend Felicia and her boyfriend Hun. She helps ServiceNow customers with their contract renewals, but she's also a great food guide. We're here at Changi Village, right? Yeah, Changi okay. Village Hawker Center. Changi Village Hawker Center. You can even hear the, the planes from Changi Airport fly overhead. We don't know what we're eating because we're entrusting ourselves to Felicia and Wan Rong. We're going to eat whatever local delights come to the table. Okay, so this is Wan Rong's favorite right here. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm going to take one. <laughs> okay, let her, let her, let's see how Wan Rong eats it. This is my favorite. It's called bak chow mee. Okay. So you can you pronounce it? For me. Bak chow mi. Yes, perfect. Bak chow mi. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna take one bit more. Okay. <laughs> mm. oh, fish, okay. fish ball? Yes, fish ball with some mushrooms on it. Nice? Very nice. Oh. That was a thoroughly satisfying meal. Bak chow mi is a uniquely Singaporean dish that was developed over a century ago by Teochew immigrants from South China. It's a must try dish when you're in Singapore. And now we embark on our epic voyage. Oh, let's check it. Wait, 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 is this Pulau Ubin? Is that where we're going? Oh my God. It's a long ride. Yes, yes, this is Pulau Ubin. That first sighting of land was just a fake out. So we continued our harrowing journey to this mysterious island of untamed jungle and hungry mosquitoes. As we neared the shoreline, tensions were running high. Welcome to Pulau Wubin. <laughs> very nice, Perfect. very nice. Perfect. <laughs> okay, maybe we oversold the danger a little bit. Pulau Ubin is actually a tranquil escape from the busyness of Singapore's main island. Oh my god, camera, Chinese out. Jalan Durian. <laughs> if you're not in on the joke, that durian debacle you saw a couple episodes ago earned Cameron a new nickname. Durian Boy. The plan is to grab some rental bikes and explore as much of the island as we can. I like to keep my bikes fresh, so I keep the plastic on. <laughs> Let's see what it's all about. Service now. 
how would you rate my sweat level on a scale of one to gross? <laughs> I'll get a photo for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I have to move? <laughs> yes. Can I see right hand? We do left hand. I think you guys are good with the hands. I, I don't think we have enough hands. After a little more pedaling, it was time to hydrate. Really? I hope, yeah. I hope it's a good one because you know when you get a good coconut here, it tastes so amazing. Okay, thank, thank you. you. It's so good. Okay, let me take a video. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good because it's so hot right now. Mm. Well, basically, it's, it has two cameras, right? And so it's capturing 360 it's degrees. So what kind of uh, poisonous, venomous snakes are in here? <laughs> yeah, the python. Anything we need to know python. about? <laughs> okay, okay, cool. As we were struggling up this hill, I was asked to walk in the back because I was told I smelled the worst. This is like a little amazing race. <laughs> amazing race? <laughs> yeah. I'm panting for my life. <laughs> but the payoff views at the top were totally worth it. Hey, you should say, welcome to Puaka. You. you you do the better announcer voice. So. Uh, okay. Welcome to Puaka <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Such a fail. <laughs> okay, let's do this, Robert. I'm ready. Welcome to Singapore. <laughs> Can you feel sweat meme? Yep, this is pretty much how I feel right now. We were taking in all the lovely views and everything was going swell. But Cameron had to go and step on an anthill, unleashing their wrath. Look how the big like is the, the size of grapes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. We didn't stand a chance with those ants, so we retreated to the bottom of the hill. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we survived the ant attack, but Mother Nature wasn't done with us yet. Oh, they're all there, they're all there. It's, it's crazy because they are cute, but they're little devils. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. They're coming for you, Robert. Oh, they're so, it's, a, it's an ambush. Yeah, you hear that? You hear, oh! Oh my God. All right, well, yeah. that, that was great. Let's go. Oh my God, they're all around us. Some people think monkeys are cute and harmless. Ah! <laughs> Run! <laughs> but I know better. <laughs> I don't know what I'm cycling for dear life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust monkeys. I don't. <laughs> it's really, really, really cute. Four or five months of retirement? Is that about right? 133 days to date. <laughs> Okay, 133 days. How is it? It was good. It is good. You know, um, I've actually been back to the office several times. Actually, what I miss most, you know, for retirement is uh, the colleagues that I interacted with. Every time when I go back to visit the office, it felt like I've never left. You know, it felt like going back to a second home. <laughs> Ah, I guess the service now spirit still live on, man, after 133 days. <laughs> I am really uh, happy that you all both came to showcase what Service Now Singapore is all about. The people, you know, uh, the places, right? So it, it's, it's good to, to get Singapore out into the world. So, you know, I'm just glad that you all came. Yeah, I'm uh, just really glad that you all came. Oh, we, we oh, were so happy, happy to be us. there. Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. I am truly grateful and thankful for service now, you know, for giving me the best years of my life there. And um, that is something that I am truly, 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 truly grateful for. <laughs>